Today in English, we shall learn tenses. Tenses, my dear children, means time. So let's learn what exactly we mean by the word tenses. Now here you can see some action words being acted out, right? Some movements. You can also see those are animals. Here you can see a girl skipping, using a skipping rope. A man running. A girl singing. Now all these are actions and the name given to actions are called action words or verbs. So what you can see here on the screen are actions and the word given to them are verbs or action words. Tense is the form of a verb that shows the time an action takes place. So by the word tense we mean at what time the action is taking place. When is the action taking place? It means that an action can take place in the present tense or in the past time or in the future time. So it means that an action can take place in the present time, that is now, right now, or in the past time. Past means something that is already over or completed, finished. Or in the future time. Future time is the time that is yet to come. Let's understand that in a better way. There are three main tenses and they are present tense, past tense and future tense. Now earlier I told you the time, present time, past time, future time. Now we are using the time as tense. So the present tense is the action that takes place now. Right now what is happening that is the present tense. Past tense is something or the action that is already done. It's finished, it's completed. And the future tense is the action is yet to be done. That is the action is not done. It is yet to be done. Let's take the first one that is present tense. Now let's understand what do we mean by present tense. A verb that shows an action taking place in the present time is said to be in the present tense. So, when an action is happening in the present time, it is said to be present tense. For example, right now, I am teaching you. So, it is the present time. Let's take an example. Here you can see there's a girl writing and the sentence reads as, she is writing a letter. In this sentence, the action is writing indicates. Indicates means shows that the action is still going on. The action is going on. That is now, present. Let's take another example. Here you can see a bird is singing. The sentence reads, the bird sings. In this sentence, the action, what is the action here? Sings. The action sings takes place in the present time. So both these actions, that is, is writing and sings, both these actions are happening in the present time. So they are said to be in the present tense. That is because it is happening now. So that's present tense. Let's move on to the next one. Past tense. A verb that shows an action that has taken place in the past is said to be in the past tense. That is something that has already happened. Let's take an example. Let's read the sentence here. She was singing a song. So here the sentence is was singing. Was singing means it's already over. She was singing a song. 
In this sentence, the action was singing indicates or shows that the action was going on at some time. That is, some time back, this action took place. Now it is over. It is already over. It's finished. So it is in the past time. Let's take another example. Here you can see the horse has jumped over the fence. Let's read the sentence. The horse jumped over the fence. Jumped means it has already happened. In this sentence, the action jumped took place in the past time. That is the action jumped is already over. It has already taken place. So both these action words that is was singing and jumped have taken place in the past. So these two sentences are in the past tense. Let's take the next one. Future tense. A work that shows that an action may take place in the future is said to be in the future tense. Future is something that has not yet happened. It is something that is going to happen afterwards or tomorrow or maybe some other time. That is the future. Let's take an example. Here you can see this is a kitchen. Mummy is in the kitchen. Let's read the sentence. The child is saying, mother will cook the food. So here the child says, mother will cook the food. That means the food is not yet cooked. So it's not in the past. Mother is not cooking the food now. So not in the present. But the child says the mother will cook the food. So which means it's in the future. In this sentence, the action will cook indicates or shows that the action is going to take place in some future time. That means mummy is going to cook food sometime later. She has not cooked it yet. She is not cooking it now, but she will cook it. That means it's going to happen in the future time. So this sentence is in the future tense. Let's take another example. Now this is a marketplace. Let's read the sentence. The child says, I shall go to the market. So here the child is saying, I shall go to the market. She has not gone to the market, nor is she in the market now, but she says she shall go. In this sentence, the action shall go indicates that the action will take place at some point in the future time. <coughs> so both these sentences say that the actions will take place in the future. 